last time Rio was a 14 year old and um, it don't seem 10 minutes ago I was sitting in a dressing room with him at Chabwell Heath West Ham's training ground and um, with him and his little mate Tony McFarland who, who uh, they came together to two kids from South London and me, me and Frank Lampard Senior used to be sitting there chatting to him one night and they're asking us questions about what the players eat before they play and what boots does De Canio wear and Rio was it was in talk, you know, what how do they warm up and you know, and suddenly, you know, but I knew even very early on, you know, that and to be honest, my dad, we, we took Rio from he wasn't a schoolboy star. He was a kid uh, um, that started playing quite late. And we had a, a guy started working for us, Dave Goodwin. And Dave was involved with the South London schools football. And he came to us and said, I've just had a kid turn up for, for, for the trials for the town team. He said, it's different class, fantastic. He said, you've got to have a look, get him down here. So uh, anyway, by the time we, we got him down, but suddenly Mill Ward came on the scene. Uh, from they'd obviously seen the trials and then it was a case of us on Mill Ward. And Frank Senior, to be fair, worked very hard. He went he went round the mum see Rio and his mum and his dad and spoke to them about the possibility of coming to West Ham and how West Ham was a bigger club than Mill Ward. We were division above or whatever. And um, we fight and we got him, you know, but his first game was at Chelsea away in the uh, final with the Southern Junior Floodlight Cup. First game at home, I think we got, I, I couldn't remember the exact scores, but we got beat by a couple of goals. Something like 4-2 at home, Chelsea beat us. And um, we went back for the re second leg, it was two-legged final. Very prestigious youth final. And um, the first team, we were playing at Newcastle that night. Anyway, I got a phone call after the game from my dad. He'd been to the game, he said, I've seen the best player I've seen in years, Harry, tonight in your youth team. I said, who was, who was that? Frank, and I named about four kids. He went, no. He said, a kid called Ferdinand. I said, Ferdinand? I said, no, Dad, he's still a schoolboy. He wouldn't have played tonight. He said, yeah, he did. played in midfield. Big, tall boy. He said, kept running with 50 yards with a ball, drifting past three or four players, gliding up the pitch. I said, really? He said, yeah. He said, best I've seen in years. Put the phone down. Ten minutes later, Tony Carr rings me, the youth coach in charge of the West Ham Academy, and Eric Tony said, hey, "Harry, we won the, we, we actually won the game that night, something like five-one." He said, "Fantastic, the boys were great tonight." He said, "Unbelievable." He said, and Rio, "I played Rio Ferdinand. He was only 15." I said, "Well, my dad rang me and told me." I thought, "I thought he had it wrong." He said, "No, I played the kid Ferdinand." He said, "He was unbelievable," and we knew then he, we had a, a player, you know, a special player on our hands. So.